If Jesus is truly the embodiment of the divine, are you hearing me? The fulfillment of God's pattern, the presence of God on earth, the kingdom of heaven who has come down to us, then should not our identity be all wrapped up in the Messiah of the world in Jesus' identity? What if today's wisdom is simply this? Our identity as human is discovered through the baptism of Jesus. We are God's children. We are dearly loved. God is well pleased with us. This is a biblical statement directly from the mouth and the heart of the divine. However, if this is true, if this is truth, then why have many been told otherwise? Either passively or aggressively, through ecclesiological history or American history for that matter, it is relevant to the conversation to point out the micro and macro aggressions and ways in which people groups have been told otherwise for hundreds of years. Black lives have not mattered for hundreds of years. Red lives have not mattered for hundreds of years. Brown lives have not mattered for hundreds of years. You are not loved unless you are normal. You are not welcome unless you look, dress, think, or speak like us. We are normal. But who gets to decide what is normal? For many generations, Christianity was the normative. 90% of America identified as Christian as recent as the 1980s. But that percentage has dramatically reduced by nearly 30% today. And by 2040, the estimation is that less than 50% of Americans will identify as Christian according to a recent Pew Research Survey. Certainly, you are well aware, right? You are well aware of the decline of Christianity as the normative. You've read and seen many people who have had and continue to reject Christianity's definition of normal, which if you're not aware is white, evangelical, English-speaking, heterosexual, marriage and family defined as a man and a woman and two children, well-dressed, with a Bible under their arms, a smile on their face, and their use of nice language that feels more transactional than authentic. Hence, the need, the, the, the requirement to declare this deeply foundational truth of identity, whoever you are, wherever you are, whether this is your first time here or a long time attender, the voice from heaven speaks, declares, you are my child whom I dearly love and I am well pleased with you. Can you hear that voice today? To the BIPOC community, black, brown, indigenous, people of color, you are normal children of God, safe, loved, and God is well pleased with you too. To the LGBTQIA plus community, you are normal children of God, safe, loved, God is well pleased with you. To all oppressed communities, you are normal, you are loved, you are children of God, safe, and God is well pleased with you. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Any reason they offer is unbiblical and flat out incongruent with the Holy Scriptures. Anyone who takes ancient holy writings of wisdom and creates walls of separation, walls of exclusion, theologies of who is in and who is out are simply misguided about the true essence of the creator, of the divine, who is love. If it is not love, it is not God. 